another thing that's happened too, the dynamic of uh, the, the old, the, the aging workforce. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a lot of people, when I first got into higher ed in 2000, uh, they were looking at, oh my God, our whole workforce is going to open and retire. Mm -hmm. Well then in 2007, the economy went down and the stock market went down and the 401ks went down. So suddenly everybody was incentivized to stay on the job. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's just here recently where we've gotten back back into the, the stock market levels that we were before. So the four ones, four one ks are finally happy again, mm -hmm. and we're starting to see that oh my God, ringing of hands, gnashing of teeth that uh, <laughs> that we hear out of the HR departments. Uh, I was <laughs> yeah. with one company. They said seventy percent of their workforce was eligible to retire at any really? one point in time. Mm -hmm. Everybody's time horizon is different now. It, it is, it is, and 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 I, we've lost sight of that. We've lost sight of that, um, and now it's a. Uh, what are we gonna do? What do you think would uh, surprise people if they don't if they don't know anything about this program? Um, what y'all are doing here? What would people be surprised to know? It's a career. Mm -hmm. uh, construction is not your your old uh, you know slogging in the mud and, and doing doing work. There there is a career ladder out there. Uh, some of the bigger uh, some of these larger companies are being run by people who started as pipe fitters and welders. And, mm -hmm electricians out in the job and these companies take care of their own so uh, just because you're starting somewhere that doesn't mean that's where you end uh, and your fate is really up to you hard work and, and coming back to school uh, uh, be it full train you know be it continuing education like we do in my department or be it on the credit side you know either way you got to keep plugging at it Mm -hmm. One of the things that's um, interesting to me about the industry is, you know, like you mentioned, you know, people need to leave their phone, uh, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> uh, be able to be disciplined, mm -hmm. right? And they can go from being a pipe fitter to being, you know, the head of a company or someone close to that. Um, and it's really a thing that is uh, in line with the spirit of the Houston area, Absolutely. Uh, Texas in general. Uh, the former mayor in Houston, Bob Lanier, used to say, around here nobody cares who your daddy is. It's about how hard you can work. That's exactly right, and we've we've got the the, the advantage here. Uh, the reason you know we don't care so much about how much the oil price of oil is mm -hmm. on this side of town. Right. The energy corridor, yeah, trouble. This yeah. side, <laughs> this side of town, we don't care so much because we're main. Yeah, we're petrochem, but we're mm -hmm. heavy on the chem part, mm -hmm. and that feeds the feedstock for that is natural gas, right. and we've got this thing called Eagleford Shale and there's several other shale plays that are around the country mm -hmm. and uh, recent information has come out saying you know the price of, of natural gas is at a historic low and will stay there for a hundred years that's the reason for all the plant expansions here you'll notice they're all ethylene crackers and things like that mm -hmm. that are taking natural gas cracking them up and making turning them into all the plastics that we use constantly mm -hmm. uh, uh, I've, I've seen figures that show where the 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 price of natural gas now we are on par with what it is in the Middle East right okay so you've taken that pricing factor out that's just to get it out of the ground now you add in the wonderful workforce we have here you know uh, or everybody around you know it's in it's in, it's part of our DNA mm -hmm. as far as when you grow up here I'm, I'm from Beaumont Port Arthur so it's the same if, it, if not worse um, so where is a company logically going to expand a plant I can go somewhere overseas and pay that high, pay those high costs, mm -hmm. or I can come here, a few miles from up the road from the from the shale play itself, and and build a plant with a workforce that's already here mm -hmm. and that already has a lot of innate knowledge uh, built in, uh, and part of it is that work ethic. 